Yeah. No, no, that's fine. No, we'll be there in about five minutes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. See you then. Just got a hot call. About to pick up a certain master, someone. If you get, if you catch my drift. Let's go. So, master shorty, bro. Long time low C. What's going on, brother? I'm good, man. You all right? You? Cheese, not too bad, man. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a long time since, <laughs> since school days. Since school days, yeah. Obviously, yeah. another proud product of the Brit School. Mm. Yeah. I mean, how did the Brit School shape your your career so far? So far. Um, I don't know. To be to be fair, I didn't have didn't really learn anything musically. That I didn't do. I didn't do music. At oh, okay. School. Yeah, yeah. So what what did you do? I did like did all three. I did the acting, dancing, and singing all in one. Okay. Yeah. So um, I haven't put that into progress so far. <laughs> but in terms of socially and me yeah. growing as a person in the Brit School, it's definitely helped me a lot. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, what's your like most fondest memory of of, of that establishment? The most fondest memory. Of the yeah. Brit. Um. I don't know. I don't know. It just, just. I, don't, I can't remember. It put me in a <laughs> so spot, too man. many, too many. Nah, yeah. I had enough memories of the Brits. Okay. I mean, wh wh when was it? When was it? When you were first discovered? When, when was that? That moment where you were brought to the public eye? Um, when I brought to the public eye, I can't. It's just, I don't know. I just keep going, and then at some point, you know, I just people start recognizing me, and yeah. um, my video, YouTube videos, go up and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not even looking it from an outsider in. I'm just doing me and just keep working and trying to progress. Okay. And I just got management, went there, kind of. I went to my management and said, "Listen, I need you guys to manage me." Yeah. And then just carried on pushing and grinding and putting out music from then onwards. And at some point, you know, there was definitely some kind of success there. Definitely. I mean, obviously, uh, most of your videos. I mean, should I say all of your videos are, you know, of the highest quality mm. in terms of, you know, video content and your know, music coming from the UK. It's just in a different, different level. Mm. So, who, who comes up with the kind of content and creativity behind behind them? Um, creativity, like. To be fair, like a lot of the stuff recently has, has been myself. But um, early on, I was working with Labyrinth a lot, so okay. um, musically, creativity was 50 50. Yeah. Know? We would just vibe in a studio, jump up and down, mm -hmm. and just make music for it, you know, just, just for fun. Yeah. And that's where the, the, the sound came from in terms of like my videos and yeah. style and stuff like that, and imagery, that's, that's all myself. Okay, and how, how is Labyrinth kind of uh, as an artist and you know as as a friend, I, I guess. Yeah, no, Labyrinth's cool, man. Yeah. He's cool. He's he's definitely one of the most humble artists for the amount of success he's had in yeah. such a short space of time. To yeah. be as humble as he is, is dope, and he's extremely talented. Talented, yeah. In so many ways, unimaginable. To people. Awesome. Like he's he's dope, man. Uh, so originally you were signed with Jive, yeah. Yeah, no, so I, was, I was signed to Jive for like yeah. A couple of months. Okay. Yeah. So what, what happened with, the, with that kind of situation? How did it kind of um, progress? Yeah, it's like I um I, I signed to Jive in like beginning of 2010, the Memph hits, because mm -hmm. up until then I was all unsigned doing the stuff in the UK, mm -hmm. and the label they kind of dispersed recently, like in the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. um, Jive dispersed. Um, they became an RTG label group. Okay. And. Um, I'm now basically one one thing I learned while being in that situation is that I want to build up my fan base before I get put in that position again because yeah. you know in order to in order for people to want to work and invest their money into you you have to the ball has to the wheels have to already be kind of rolling yeah so I got a um, new management situation in the states and was building my buzz back up out there okay. alongside the UK again. so you, you, I was gonna go state you're gonna take it stateside yeah yeah oh, wow you know, that's that's the idea California yeah you know that in the shorts <laughs> weather's you know weather's nice out there yeah. Yeah, <laughs> is like that part the, of the reason the why? East coast, the, the east coast of the states is very similar to here. But, okay. Um, like when you go to the west and the midwest, like it's definitely hot. Weather's nice. Like Weather's that. nice, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a, what, what are you like more of a tropical guy, or do you like your your, your cold your cold winters here? Like, no, I like every, every, everyone. <laughs> like everyone likes the heat. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely a kind of a you know a guy that's into the sun and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, let's talk about weather. <laughs> Damn. Cool. Um, you, you've got you've got your um, comeback single, Social Groups, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's you know what I should do. I should just park up right now yeah. and applaud you because yeah. that you, you know what I'm talking about. All shot in one take, and mm. you know you, you you changed out. You did. You had one one change of outfit, was it? 
Um, no, like, no, no, no change. No like, change of outfit. I had stuff underneath, like, and I, I was all one take. It was Dexter, yeah. Dexter Navy, who's a new up and coming dope director. Mm -hmm. Like, um, started working with him early on again, mm -hmm. and we just sat down. He'd already had the idea that he wanted to do it, but he never had an artist that was willing to take that risk and and somebody that could bring it to life. And you know, we just made it happen. All one sick, take, all one outfit. Sick, sick, sick tune. I mean, how important um, is that song to you? And like, what, is that were there any like deeper meanings? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that song's definitely important to me. Mm. Um, it was like, obviously, I hadn't had anything out in a little while, and I know, that, you know I had fans waiting in the UK and people that wanted to see what it is I'd been up to. And mm -hmm. Constantly, for the last six, seven months, eight months even, I've just been writing, recording, producing, and, and basically trying to make myself a better artist and a better person. So that is definitely the beginning of the outcome of that experience. True stories, true stories. So, what, what, what like, are the main tips or advice you would give um, anyone, you know, to kind of deal with haters or negativity within the industry? Because obviously, you bring out a very um, positive, positive vibe. So, what kind of tips and, and advice would you give someone, kind of, to um, deal with that within the industry? Tips for people that come across haters. Um, I'd put it like this: It's like I've one one of my best advice that I've had to mm. deal with when I'm dealing with haters and people that may not respect you what you do mm -hmm. um, is you got to look at it this way for the same amount of effort and time you're going into even notifying or replying or even taking in what haters say that yeah. same energy could be given back to somebody that supports you and I feel it's out of order to even take in what a hater says when there's people out there that support you do you know what I mean okay so you know if I feel like I'm gonna read a comment or I feel like I'm gonna get angry or let a comment affect me yeah. I have to divert my negative energy to those that are positive okay and you just start to realize that they, there is you know more in there's more behind the love that you get from people than the negative shit definitely definitely and if, if your fans could like listen to one song of yours okay mm. which song would you recommend number one only one what well, now that i've already put out yeah um right time that's a, that's a really off the first album. why what, why that one though why that one that's just one of those tracks that's just made way ahead Jeez. of its time so okay even i never got you know i never got to release it or you know mm -hmm. put money behind it it definitely is one of my most solid tracks that solid in labyrinth did yeah okay breaks my heart every time that you go wanna know if it's the right time to say the things that I thought you should know oh let's go the relationship's gone cold so I got my fuming I'm a human being so I'm being a human look back it was so consuming love that hate it was so yeah, so Master Ray, can we get, you know, for all of your viewers who haven't heard of you, you know, I don't know what kind of stone that they've been living under, yeah, that they haven't heard of you, can we get a quick 16 freestyle? Alright, cool. Yeah? Like, can you uh, lay it? I'll, go, I'll put a 16. Yeah, go on. This then. one. Um, go on then. In a dark, dark place, is a dark, yeah. In a dark, dark face, is a dark, dark town. Dark, dark place with a dark, dark frown. When you got an ego and you're passing it round, and all of a sudden you are the talk of the town. No justice when you walk in a crown court. What? More from your sound. It's better to be loved for something you're wired and something you're not. Could you fall to the ground? Telling me to come back. You be 40. I'll be 42. I made a mistake. But this time, UK, eh? Hey, now I ain't aborting you. This is for the people that said that the doubt in me. You do it independent without any P. Climbing the walls like a mountain to me. I never came to conquer because I fell from a tree. Jeez, woo! Hot bars right there. Okay, cool, cool. I hear that. All right, then. So, um, just for obviously all your viewers out there, all your fans, where can we learn more about you? Where can we find out more about you, Master Shorty? Um, yes, yeah, um, my Tumblr, which is mastershorty.tumblr.com. Mm -hmm. Shorty's with an IE. Twitter is at Master Shorty. Mm -hmm. Or just, um, just my website, mastershorty.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. We're almost at your destination, mm -hmm. okay? But we're not going to let you go that easy, all right? We're going to step into a little quick fire question round, all right? So it's going to be basically the first thing that comes to your head, you got to you got to answer. No thinking, no time for guessing. Straight answer, yeah? All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You're all stretched out, you all right? Yeah, Okay, well, cool, cool. Let's go. Um, headmaster or caretaker? Caretaker. Short or tall? Crisp or biscuits? Crisp. <laughs> USA or UK? Ooh. UK. Okay. Flow or lyrics? Flow. Uh, music video or performance? Performance. Okay. Okay. A million pounds or a billion viewers? A billion viewers. Oh. 
date with a girl or out with the boys? Um, date with a girl. Okay. Straight on common or straight on hill? Straight on common. Okay, okay. Debatable, but yeah. Uh, last one, last one. Milk or water? Milk. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll let you go since you're with me, with me, John. You did that hot 16 a cappella. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, you're, you're free to go, Master Shots. Cool, man. Bro, good, good to see you again. Good Take care. Yourself, Thanks man. for dropping in. Alright, I'm out. Cool. In a bit, man. Okay, that was Master Shorty. He's taking over the UK and USA. Watch out for him this year. It's gonna be big. I wonder who's gonna be next though. Passenger. Dealing with a boss, not an amateur. Drive to the spot like a traveler. Don't take no starting. We don't know who will jump in. It will be the passenger. Interviewing up and coming TV stars. In the back of a tinted car Five to ten minutes And buying some Snickers But you're just going to media